All right, we got caught going in. And we're on our roads, four at a time. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Go Crest Valley 19. Woo! Your host with not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? I'm doing hunky dory. We are picking cotton. Um, kind of waiting for the dew to dry off or whatever it was. It just got foggy real bad. And uh oh, did I knock it? I guess I did knock that sign down. That's not good. Let's see here. Maybe it'll just be on a rose. Get the GPS lined up. I'll let the header down. Uh, okay. So it's one that's on those rows. Still not quite got that fixed. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm having problems with the GPS. That was right at the start. One, two, three, four. But I clicked the GPS. It wants to go over then streets back up. I don't know what to do with it. Now they did tell me, you know, this thing didn't have GPS and the auto track that we put on it might not work right because I don't know. Because it's old maybe? As long as it gets us through this year. We got this field we're in, that field over there, and a big one over there, and a little bit over there. And, and yeah. But folks, uh, this is going to be a, a short video. Um, I want to fix and make one more. Go out to the end, make another three back down. I want to get them straightened up somehow or another, hire a worker. And, um, yeah. All that good stuff. And we're going to go cut some beans. Yeah, I kind of scooted the log over there a little bit out of the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to really hit myself here. Yeah, let's straighten up here. All right, GPS, I hear you. You should work right now. You better work right. Go on those roads. There we go. A little off. You little off. Oh. I swear, some things just don't work right. But I tell you what, oh, um, we uh, leasing to buy another piece of equipment. Uh, it's another excavator, and that's big. It's big, guys and girls. It's big. I'll show you that here in a minute. We'll take our other excavator. I'm moving it over to the silo uh, by the train track. It's uh, going to be putting in a railroad crossing. Alright, one, two, three. I got to go over one more row. And. Not going to. This row right here. Okay, I have to come back and hurry do this, but I'm gonna get them started right here. Uh, who, we, we're gonna let Mr. Yankee, <clears throat> Mr. Yankee, drive it. I'm flying, ain't I? I'm in, in the fly mode. Uh, let's go get our combine going first, folks. But uh, reason why this is short, I wouldn't plan on making another video in a day or two. But I got to think, you know, I don't need to do y'all that way. I need to let you know when I'm taking a break and stuff. So I figured I'd come on here. I know y'all want to see the cotton picker. And probably the combine one more time. Let me get a... Yeah, I don't want my auger to go out. I just want my display on so I can see everything. Um, 
But yeah, we're down to 24,000. Let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, don't need to be going 19. How fast is this thing? Supposed to be six mile an hour. Oh yeah, there we go. Now watch those trees. Alright, but I don't know if you can see it from here, but they're over by the shop and got that leveled up. And yeah, it's all kind of stuff that's been going on this morning. Of course, last episode, you know, we was actually harvesting that field over there. But here it is, 10 o'clock. I not really been that long, but the train scared me. That's one reason I want to do this by the track. And there's all no uh, accidents in this new combine. Yeah. You know how the hired workers are. It's very sure on the farm simulator 19, right? Well, I hope everything's been going all right. I did notice my volume was way too loud on, even with this combine. It was real great, but red one. I wish y'all would have told me that. But hopefully the volume's right now. Contract on field 30 is finished. Oh, we need to go. I just can't hire a worker right now. Completed their task. Um, that has to be the fertilizer spreader completing their task. Alright, I'm on. Go ahead and hire a worker. And we're going to let. Oh, yeah, I had to turn the volume down too, by the way. And we got. See, Phil 30 is done. We're going to collect that. And we need to go to fields 1, 4, 6, and 17. So I might take a minute. Um, let's see here. Cotton pickers seems to be doing all right. So um, let's see here. I'm going to go. I need to zoom in some more. And I want to go to here, I think. That's the Volvo truck. We're renting it. Hopefully, we won't need it too much longer. You know, they're getting pretty done. They've been working nonstop hauling. I guess they're going to lunch. Kind of early for lunch, but check out this cat, folks. Look at this. Not nothing too fancy. Ain't no labels for nothing. I don't know how to work this thing. If ain't no labels on it, fire up. This plane ain't working. Oh, we probably won't buy this then. This plane ain't working. What is it with these? I'm sure. Ooh, ooh, whoa. That's so deep. Whoa, that's deep down there. Um, let me go around this. I don't want to fall off from this side. That's a cat, 385C. That's twice as big as the other. Uh, they was running into some rock issues, so yeah. Um, of course, we know we got some cotton here, so we have to wait a little bit on this till that grows. Um, but right up here, I'm this hill. I'm getting too too fat to climb. Um, what I'm working on, you're going to see this tree cut right here. This is a property line. That is their tree, and that is our tree, and the property line runs here in the middle. So, yeah, basically right behind our shed where the road's at. And, yes, I got the trees marked, the ones that we need to mark anyway. Uh, go down through here. This one is ours. should be a yeah, right there. And we're going down here. That one is theirs, and this one is ours. Everything back this way is ours. Even that in there, so back that way. We're going to take this cross the road, cut these trees, and we're going to have them level this all the way up. 
and I got a load of trees over by the sawmill. I want to show you this over here real quick. This is pretty much a show and tell video, I guess, or what I should have said. There's our other cat. He's done, looks like. I guess he done put it, smoothed it and packed it. But all we done was this, we talked to the railroad company. They said, sure, but they'd put up some signs saying, you know, farm, farm machinery only or something like that. Authorized vehicles only. So, yeah, and uh, he's been going around getting all the uh, disease trees. I don't know if he's got any more, but some of these little trees got some bugs that's been eating them on them. And, you know, they're just, well, I say disease, but you know what I mean. They're just add up. So he's been going around there getting all of them. And I think he's done. I really don't know. Uh, everybody goes to lunch and don't tell me nothing. But anyway, yeah, we got to be careful here. We got to get some signs up here. Yeah, I see. That's pretty much it. Let's go sell that load of wood. Where am I? Well, I'm way up. All right, there's something. Yeah. There's my trucks. I uh want -oh, the yeah. There we go. Inner vehicle. Bring back some uh, bad memories, folks. Go ahead and uh, unstrap these. Um, the guy at that mill there that operates it didn't want the trees going up to the other one. So we brought them over here. And of course they do that. That's it. We gotta, gotta shake it a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, whoop. I know. Shaky, shaky. Oh, I think it just. All right, y'all didn't see that, folks. Y'all didn't see that. That's what happens when you shake a little too much. Shaky, shaky. All right, let me get these sold. <laughs> I'll be right back, folks. I'm going to have to. Turn all the way around, looks like. Strap them back down. Strap them down. Go under. Turn around. Come back. Be right back. Oh, I got trees hung up. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, finally got them sold. We're up to 127000 That was a nightmare, trying to get all that straightened up. But I finally did it, so. But anyway, I'm going to uh, go check on the combine and stuff. And a cotton picker. So I will be back in a minute. All right, I'm inside the cotton picker, but I want to show you this. At three o'clock today, we got 50% rain. Then for every about six o'clock, maybe. Now it's uh, after 12, so it'll be about three o'clock tomorrow. It's going to rain. Then Saturday and Sunday, it's going to rain. So, uh, we got to get what crops we can out right now. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting one of those things. I was hoping we had more cotton in there, but, yeah, it's just that much. So, when he gets this field here done, the Manjo Builder's already over there, and we already dumped in it. So, there ain't no way of moving that. Now, I'm going to run over here and grab the combine. See how well he done. Looks like he done a pretty good job. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Um, let me in. Oh, I'm on the wrong side, but oh wow, it's not. Oops. There we go. They made it where you had to be on that side. That's all. Dump on that end down there. I'm just going to go ahead and. Tell you what, I'm going to stick my drone out the window and fly real quick. All right.
drones up in the air and I do not see anything that what was it, Mr. Yankee? Uh miss. Not even in the point rows. So I am very, very highly satisfied. Of course he didn't get hit by the train. So that's the best thing of all. Move this tractor here. Land the drone, I magically appear. Beat them at 35. Now we already got some beans on the truck. So, um, I'm just going to let him do his thing, turn around and everything, go down to the end. Uh, I want this video to be kind of short, but it's been 16 minutes, so, um, I'll meet you back here in a second when one of them gets done, so. Alright, folks, I got some bad news. The lights don't work on this thing either. No hatchet lights, no nothing. So I'm like, that's just lovely. Means we can't pick at night. But anyway, we, we got one fill done. That's all that matters. We gotta go to the next after we dump here. Now a little bit having to bring full baskets back. I don't want to hit the mirrors there. I guess it's mirrors, lights, something. Mighty close. Oop, 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 oop. Alright, now how do I engage this thing? Turn GPS off. Just to make sure I don't do nothing stupid here. Oh, there we go. And of course I'm going to take some pictures. I'll probably see that. I don't know which one I'm going to use for a thumbnail. Okay, that's probably enough. We're, we're done anyway, so. I'm hitting the old button on the keypad. That's why the thing's disappearing. Because it's also a pipe out button. I'm going to baskets down. I'm going to start this up and let it trump. I don't know how big of a bell that's going to make. Uh, well, this thing turns short. Short? Alright. Get that off that. Let's go over here. I'm going to fire this up. Come on, bad boy. I, I thought we got in the module, but everything works from here. So, uh, turn on the packer. There we go. And I'll just keep doing that. So it's packed. Tight. Uh, 54,000. So we're, we're not even. Oh. We might not be able to make it there. Anyway, I'm going to like that pack. And I'm going to run over here and grab the combine. Unload him. So I'll be back in a second. Alright, folks. We're at the final bit here. And we are going to start dumping, looks like. Let me put some in the back. I want some weight on these back wheels in case we get need to stop. I uh, went ahead and started the uh, cotton picker up, as you can see it in the background there going. And also, I moved the other guy to field one. I told him to go over there and start spraying. Got a pair of kind of the way and green cart and all that junk. So I'm gonna do some of that off screen. Uh, I'm gonna field a field. Finish that field that the cotton picker's in. And uh, I will bring y'all back at you know when we get the total. Not not fine, not today. But in a couple days from now, when I come back, you'll see the total of the cotton out of that field. Um which painting. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, that's going to be it on that. Uh, I am going to take these beans and go sell them. And y'all will see the total of that. Because uh, that money will be going towards the sawmill since I've got a little, um, I wouldn't say an argument or lecture, but I would say, I'm about to turn my hazards off. Um, yeah, he said that, uh, I had no attention to paying that loan back from the sawmill. I'm like, yes, I do. It's just been busy and I've been having to buy other things. So, yeah, so I got to pay that loan back pretty quick. Anyway, folks, I'm going to figure out where the best price for these beans are at and I will meet y'all there. All right, we are here. Let's hit the cart button and show y'all real quick. Uh, 24. 517 is the best price and go crest pacific green so here we are let's see what we can come up with whoa my front wheels are off the ground all right go ahead and get that one ease up just a little bit more come on turn Oh, I'm going to head to side the building on this fillet. Alright, 12, 2, 62 on that. Switch to the, uh, on back. There we go. Um, tip side back. Now, they can give me a prompt, but okay, there we go. That's one what's going on there. Alright folks, this is the 8653, a total of 148,000. So I'm old too. So, I'm going to insert the chart of what we owe. And I had to redo some figures, I don't know if I explained that or not. Uh, this chart right here shows where I messed up, the things that, uh, took back and resold and got some extra in the spot this is what happened here and then this in here is what it's going to be when I pay back 140,000 so let me do that real quick all right that was a hundred thousand paid back instead of 140,000 I, I need to keep some so here's the new price what I owe and folks, I'm going to leave it right there with y'all. Um, I'm going to go finish that cotton field, do a few things off screen. Now, the reason why you're not going to see a couple, a couple days there, it's not going to be no videos. Okay, because one, y'all should be seeing this on a Monday. The kids are on their final week of school, so they're going to be testing a lot. But for, of course, I got to take uh, mom to the doctor today as y'all done saw this so we would be done back at before four o'clock but anyway um got some yard work to do too um doing the porch for my mom i don't know if we'll get that on camera or not i'm gonna try i uh, need motor yard got a couple other things to do to my trailer and a couple places to go here and there that I really don't want to name, you know, doctor's appointment and stuff like that. Maybe a dentist. Uh, our, our stuff here is open, so everybody's not really taking it serious, but we still have to cover our face or, you know, our, our mouth and nose and stuff like that uh, when we go in stores and stuff. But, yeah, uh, anyway, that, that's the update on that. Um, so yeah, uh, for next couple of days, folks, um, you don't see me, that's the reason why, so, um, yeah, I'll see you when I get back, and, uh, we'll be doing some more farming, so anyway, here's the straw bales and hay bales we got. I just want to show y'all that because I'm going to park the truck right here for now. And, uh, 
and we'll see y'all in the next video folks take care take it easy uh don't get no trouble and most of all have a great day a blessed day and i'll see y'all later till next time Toodles.